the doctor segment is all about venous disease and Dr. James is Sobe. He's a phimbologist and a general surgeon. He's here to join us to answer your questions. So go ahead and give us a call 741-9272. Thank you for being with us today. Oh, my pleasure. I appreciate yes. this opportunity really to tell you about venous problems. What's the most common thing that you see? The symptoms that we see are heaviness and aching. There's a throbbing. Some say, I feel my heartbeat in my legs. There's swelling around the foot, ankle, coming up to actually the knee area at times. There's itching. Mm -hmm. When we have swelling, it tenses the skin. There's a certain amount of inching. And one of the more common things that we see associated with that would be a rash. Okay. And the rash would be a kind of a reddish itching. Dermatologists are really keen about this, and so we see several who have stasis dermatitis who are sent to us by the dermatologist. Mm -hmm. Cramping at night will awaken you. You've got to get up, walk around, and restless leg problems. Um, this is the crawling sensation you have on your legs. You want to kick the covers off. At times, get out of bed and walk around gives you the heebie-jeebies and you <laughs> keep your husband awake that way you know yes. and th those are the common symptoms that are associated with vein problems and we don't really put that together with vein problems unless we see spider veins mm -hmm. obvious ropey veins uh, the, my message today is if you're having the symptoms I talked about then the best thing is to see a vein uh, center mm -hmm. and have an ultrasound because the ultrasound will tell us what is going on with the vein problems. So you may have some of these symptoms without having the visible signs exactly. of spider veins or to know that it is a vein problem, you might think it's something else. Right, and many will, will just say, you know, I'm, I'm standing on hard concrete, I have these symptoms, I don't know what to do about this. Well, that's where you need to see a vein center. And what we do with the ultrasound is to identify what the problem is. And veins have valves that hold a column of blood. It is a problem with those valves that have a leak that blood goes back down. Veins should bring back blood from our extremities to our heart. Okay. Once we have a contraction of the muscle, it squeezes the blood and, and pushes it towards our heart. When we relax, these valves close. It's the breach and the backwash that causes increased pressure, mm -hmm. and hence you have the symptoms like that. And the ultrasound picks up that just like that. Well, we do have a caller, Joyce from Centerpoint. Good afternoon, Joyce. Hello. Hi, what's your question for our doctor? Uh, yes, I would like to know, um, I have brown spots on my legs, at my, almost above my ankles and on my toes. And I wonder if that is caused from circulation and also, um, I've had a vein closed off in my left leg, mm. um, and I just wanted to know about that. <laughs> okay. Yes. Is so, that vein related, possibly? Oh, by, by all means. That's one of the common presentations of, of vein problems. Mm. It's called hyperpigmentation. With the swelling, there is also release of some red blood cells and they live 120 days and they release hemoglobin which is made from iron and that's iron staining called hemosiderin. It's a very common thing to see. So if you've had problems on one leg and now are having the, uh, you know, the pigmentation on the opposite leg, by all means you need to have that checked out. Some good advice there. Well, Dr. Sobe, we appreciate you being with us today. Thank you so much. Sure. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back.